and you have locks and you got to retie your own hair, you, you kind of want your hair to grow at a slower rate because the faster that your hair grow, the quicker the turnover for the reties. And it's almost like the more work that you're gonna have to do. So I do battle with like, dang, my hair's growing, but like, I'm gonna need you to slow down just a little bit. Hey, beautiful people of the world, it's your girl A. Reed, and if you're tuning in today, it's because your girl done made it to two years long. So I'm editing this video and I realized that I keep on saying two years locked, two years locked, two years locked. Your girl is three years locked. I'm not two years locked. But anyway, back to the video. If this is your first time joining or maybe you've been around my channel before, welcome and thank you all for joining. So without any further ado, we're just going to jump right into this two year update. So this is what my hair looks like at the moment. I recently shampooed like two days ago and I completed my retie yesterday. It's a lot more fluffier than what it usually would be just because I did go to the gym and hit up the sauna yesterday and today. So it's a lot more fluffier and I'm gonna do a 360 just so that you can see and then we'll just like jump into things like my routine, my maintenance, and how I feel about my locks. So while editing, I definitely noticed two things. One, I have a few extensions on the ends that's still hanging around that I'm probably gonna just leave it or at some point clip it if it gets on my nerves. But the main thing is that I did notice that I have a few little lint balls that I think is just from the towel when I shampooed my hair. But speaking of lint balls, I do think it's important for us to make sure that we're wrapping our hair up with either with either like a satin scarf or maybe a bonnet before going to bed to prevent lint balls from latching to our hair. So, all right, continue watching. So for those of you who have seen my previous videos, you know that I started out using two strand twists and then I added the human hair extensions to the ends. And then I had took those out, replaced it with synthetic hair, and then took those out again and added human hair extensions back in. And by the time I hit about that one year mark, I believe, I just decided I'm done with the extensions and I'm taking them out. And honestly, like since we're on that topic, I'm just gonna give my true opinion on starting with human hair extensions on the ends and the way that I did it. And <clears throat> I would not recommend it. Honestly, I do in fact regret it because I do feel like my locks would have been a lot further along in the journey than it is now. All of that manipulation definitely compromised my locks and it just wasn't worth it. When I look back, I do realize that the reason that I actually even started with the human hair extensions on the ends was because I had a lot of insecurities and a lot of doubts around my hair and it was like a security blanket for me but it don't work it don't work it ain't work for me so i should have just went in without but moving on to the next thing uh let's talk about my hair care routine very very minimal i shampoo once a week and when i can't get around it that week, it might extend to two weeks, um, worst case scenario, three weeks. But I always make sure that I sh double shampoo with a clarifying shampoo to make sure I get all the grime and the grime out because these are locks, right? So you wanna make sure that not only the scalp is clean, but the actual locks itself is clean. Uh, and then I follow up with a more moisturizing shampoo and I finish off with either a hair mask or conditioner based on my hair care needs at that time. And then I make sure to thoroughly rinse it out. I repeat, I make sure to thoroughly rinse it out because I do know that there's a lot of people who they like to leave remnants of the conditioner in their hair because they feel like that's gonna help moisturize it and that's just not true. Um, personally, I don't need nothing weighing down my hair. I don't need nothing clogging up my hair cuticles or my scalp. So 
not doing that. Instead, what I do is after I shampoo and condition, I go in with a water-based leave-in conditioning spray. The reason why I prefer the water-based leave-in conditioning spray is because I feel like it could penetrate my hair easily and get through the locks itself. And also because it is water-based, I could easily maneuver it throughout each and every lock. And then of course, also make sure I hit up my scalp as well. Now I haven't found a product to hydrate my scalp, but when I do find the right product for me, I'll make sure to add that to my routine and keep you all updated on that as well. Now, as far as my reties, I try to make sure that I retie between six and eight weeks. Anytime outside of that eight week zone, it then puts my hair in a compromising situation. What do I mean by that? So I've always had weak points along my hairline. Like these locks have always took forever to lock. And then if I wasn't like keeping up with my reties within a decent time frame, they would just pop off. And that is what I mean by a compromising state. Um, and then it also happened to this one recently, which I was so upset about because, you know, it was long, it was thick. It was just like this one. But anyway, you know, after two years, I still haven't learned my lesson quite yet, but I am trying. Um, you know, locking up my hair, well, retying my hair takes a lot of time. It could either take me eight hours or it could take me four days. Um, and if I don't have two hours to give a day, it could take me a whole week. My preference is to get it all done in one day or just like do half one day and then do the other half the next day. But yeah, definitely keep up with your reties. You know, having locks is, it definitely still requires maintenance. So yeah, this ain't, this ain't no low maintenance hairstyle. It's easy on the day to day, but when it's time to get to it, you need to make sure that you get to it. Um, and then what else did I wanna share with you all? Honestly, I think that's it. Like that is pretty much the update that I have for you. I think the main thing is just like seeing how my hair has gotten thick, you know, like it's definitely gotten thicker and it's fluffing out. If it was up to me, I wish my hair was like double this thickness, but to be honest, based on my starting point, I am extremely proud of my hair. And I am in fact excited to see what my hair is gonna look like in the next two years, three years, five years. Like once I hit that five year mark, I want my hair to be um, like triple this month if possible. So that is what I'm gonna be working on. Not like that's really in my control. Um, it's so funny, man. Like when you have locks and you gotta retie your own hair, you, you kind of want your hair to grow at a slower rate because the faster that your hair grow, the quicker the turnover for the reties. And it's almost like the more work that you're gonna have to do. So I do battle with like, dang, my hair's growing, but like, I'm gonna need you to slow down just a little bit, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, this is, this is what my hair is looking like. I'm super proud of her. And I have a lot more updates for you all, just because I really do wanna start experimenting with different hairstyles. The first year I did do a perm rod set and I have to upload that video actually. So I'll upload that video and then I have to hit you with a part two because I need to do a second attempt at it, especially not having any extensions on the ends. I feel like it might come out better, but mm, child, that first one was a straight fail. So I definitely need to upload that for you all. And then just like experiment with like braids and maybe adding I don't know, like I just wanna do something fun with my hair. So yeah, I'll be sure to record that and keep you all updated on that. So yeah, this is it y'all. I'm back on YouTube, ready to give the people what they what they need and what they deserve. But um, I thank you so much for your patience. If you are thinking about starting your lock journey, I definitely wanna encourage you to 
like do your research do your research figure out the best method to start your locks and determine like the sizing that's appropriate for your hair texture and density and whatnot but like do your research and definitely know that it is a journey it is well worth it you're going to develop and grow in more ways than one and i still feel so free i get to work out and not care about my hair i get to walk around in the street and a rainy day hits out of nowhere i don't care like i'm good i get to go to the spa and they could do whatever they want the oils and all that i don't care because your girl is free your girl is free um so yes Again, thank you all for watching. Feel free to like this video, share this video, or drop a comment down below. If you started your journey or you're thinking about starting your journey or if you followed me throughout my journey and you're like, oh my gosh, Ash, like, girl, where have you been? Where have you been? Um, but yeah, definitely drop a comment down below. I'm looking forward to reading all the comments. So until next time, deuce deuce, y'all.